So one more triangle theorem here. This one is called exterior angle or extended angle theorem. And the exterior angle theorem says that if I add up my two remote interior angles, it will equal the exterior angle. Okay, so a fancy way to say that is the sum of the remote interior angles is equal to the exterior angle. So before you can understand any of that, you need to know what are remote interior angles, like which ones are those, and what is the exterior angle, which one is the exterior angle. Okay, so I'll start with exterior. So exterior, you guys kind of know what that word means. It means outside. So outside of the triangle. Not inside of it, but outside of it. So that's going to be this angle right here. That is the exterior angle. Okay, and then the remote interior angles. Remote interior. So interior means inside, means inside of the triangle. But then remote, you guys have heard this recently because it's called remote learning, right? You guys are learning at home. You're learning far away from your school and far away from your teachers. So remote kind of means like far away. So it's the two angles that are far away from the exterior, so not next to it, but the angles farthest from it and inside of the triangle. So this right here would be a remote interior angle. This right here would be a remote interior angle. Okay, Only those two are remote interior. They're inside the triangle and they're the farthest away from the exterior. Okay, so let me do one, two examples. Uh, of the exterior angle theorem. So I could find out what this is by adding those two up. So like, let's say I know this is 30 degrees. Let's say I know this is 50 degrees. Well then what's my exterior angle? Well, I could solve for it. It says the exterior angle says that I could add those up. So 50 plus 30 will equal my exterior angle. Right? I could solve for that exterior angle here. So when I add those up, I get 80 equals my exterior angle. Okay. So then I can solve for an exterior angle. Or I could go the other way and I could solve for one of those. So let's say I didn't know what this was. Let's say I didn't know what that was and I wanted to solve for it. Well, I could, it's gonna be a little bit different, but it's gonna be the same idea. So if I wanted to find out what that was, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm still gonna add these up, so 30 plus, but now I don't really know what this is. Let's say it's X. But I know that it's gonna add up to 80 degrees because 80 degrees is my exterior angle. Okay, and then I could solve this, so easy easy enough to solve. 30 plus something equals 80, so I'm going to subtract 30 from both sides. So I get x equals 80 minus 30 is 50, right? Which I already knew up there, but in case you were solving it a little bit different, these are all the ways you could solve for the missing pieces using the exterior angle theorem.